time is it? Ah, oh. oh, fuck! Hit the review. Let's talk. When you're in a PC. Let's rock. When you depend on me. To give you weapons, items, armor, information, information for the journey, journey into the new system, system machine to try to hurt me. Let's talk. When you're in a PC. Let's rock. When you depend on me. <sighs> I'm sorry, everybody. I meant to get the review up uh, yesterday, but, you know, I read today's book, and, well, I have not found a better excuse to get 40 winks in my entire life. Okay, maybe that's a little harsh. There is some fun things in these 53 pages. However, to put the concept of sports into RPG is a rough sale. I mean, it's not a horrific idea, pen and paper football, whenever you really think of it. I mean, people love sports, people love gaming. I love sports and gaming, you know, seems to sort of make sense to me. However, I feel like that there was something else out there that maybe already cornered the market, so to speak. Hmm. What could that be? Oh yeah, fantasy football! You know, that thing that every football fan plays, either for money or for fun, that game in which you pick real athletes and pit them against each other and see which of your friends comes out the strongest and is the best sports pundit in your local office pool or whatnot. And there's certainly a debate to be made as far as whether or not fantasy football classifies as a role-playing game. On the one hand, you kind of are playing the role of a general manager and coach, drafting players and then choosing which to start on the game day. Some strategy involved in it, too, definitely comes across as a role-playing game. On the other end, it is so far removed from any sort of gaming concepts that it's really hard to classify it into one particular genre other than its own unique sort of gaming. Regardless of which side you fall on on that subject, it is pretty clear that whenever it comes to sports fans, fantasy football has sort of cornered the market on any sort of game that involves football. Okay, so what is this thing? Well, essentially this game lays it out before you that it's more than just fantasy football. It is your own fantasy football league of your creation. You create the teams and pit them against one another using dice as a means of determining outcomes. The game's creator, John Stater, cites his time watching the USFL in the 1980s as the inspiration for this game. Oh, great. So it's that failed football league that was really more well known for the fact that Donald Trump sued the NFL and did technically win for three dollars. That seems like a fantastic inspiration. The game itself is, well, essentially a how-to guide of creative fantasy league and having competition between warring teams. The game offers a plethora of stats on how to play out a game, as well as suggestions for football teams and even markets in which football teams could potentially flourish in the real world. And that's it. The game offers little in terms of creating a team. It boils down players to numbers used to bolster stats for the football team as an entity with rosters being more of fluff that you can create by the players uh, to get a little bit more immersion into it considering the fact that really there's very little immersion beyond the mathematics. The meat and potatoes of this game lies in the system and oh boy, it is one hell of a system. This game is packed to the gills with dice rolls ranging from a set of d6s to a d20. Just about everything conceivable has a stat attached to it and corresponding dice roll. Want to know what play to run? There's a chart for that. Yardage? Go to the chart. Did you score? There's a chart. How about a penalty? Once again, you're consulting the chart. And I mean, I'm going to give this game a little bit of credit that unlike other games that are overly complicated with systems, I mean, this one seems to make sense. I mean, it looks like there was a lot of thought and time put into which dice rolls to make and coming up with the most accurate equation. If you can remember them all. The concept of running a game seems like such a daunting task just between myself and I, let alone with a group of friends. There are so many charts to keep track of, specific dice rolls geared towards specific things that could happen during a game. And then you have to like pretty much print them all out and stick them all on the wall if you really want to play. There's no way you can remember all of this in order to run one quarter of football. 
And even then, it might just be a cheap form of upholstery at the end of the day after you get so fed up with it. I mean, at least the game has the good graces to be workable. It seems to make sense to me. <sighs> Let's see here, what is there nice to say about this thing? Well, okay, you can definitely see the love that is put into this game. It is well-polished game, and it takes into detail just about everything you can think of in order to run a fantasy football league of your own creation. I also like the artwork for the helmets that goes into tongue-in-cheek territories, as well as genuinely cool-looking designs. I mean... What else is there to say? This game does have promise to it. I mean, I can definitely see somebody playing it, and the system itself, while overly complicated, does work. However, it is still going to get a miss. Ultimately, the game just doesn't have much of a market for it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It was clearly a labor of love, and sometimes just seeing a dollar value of any kind for your labor is enough to call it worth it. But the game is just too esoteric from there. It is a game built almost exclusively around finding out the perfect statistical roadmap to planning out a football season with little roleplay tossed in. At the end of the day, the game just has too few people who would be willing to play it. But hey, if you're into sports, if you're into fantasy football, if you actually want to create your own league with your own teams, you got the game for it. It's on DriveThruRPG. Give it a go. But can't really say much more than that. Till next time, guys.